Good evening. Using the word of Jesus, when he opened his eyes and looked towards heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. The hour is come for us to turn a page in our history of the Columbia District Baptist Association. Ecclesiastes tell us that in everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let us know there's a time to plant. There's a time to pluck up that which is planted. So we are uh, getting ready now to turn the page again, as I say, in this time. It's a bittersweet time for me. A bittersweet time for me. But I thank God for this time. So this time we have, amen, open song by the Macedonian choir, pulpit devotion, Reverend Moore, amen. Uh, introduction of moderator, Reverend Warren, and, and in the uh, invitation to discipleship, we have Reverend Amen. Our own vice moderator, Ross. The program will go as read.
Amen. Church, say amen. We thank God for being here this evening on this occasion. Amen. God is still in the blessing business. Amen. If you don't mind, we're going to ask you to find your Bibles and turn to Proverbs chapter 3. Verse 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and verse 6. I'll give you a minute. Amen. God's word reads as this Trust in the Lord. With all thine heart, lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Right. Amen. Amen. May we pray. Dear Father, I come right now, knowing that you have all power in your hands. God, it was you who brought all these things into existence. And Lord, I just want to say thank you. You're the same God who watched over us all last night, came in early this morning, touched us with your finger of love one more time. And we just want to say thank you. Lord, we ask you for forgiveness, Lord. Down through the year, for we all have sinned and come short of thy glory. But your grace, your grace and your mercy is sufficient one more time. And I just want to say thank you. You have blessed this district, Lord. You have blessed us down through the years and you brought us through heartaches and pains up until this time. And we just want to say thank you. We ask right now, Lord, that you keep your loving hands on us, Lord, that we may follow thee and thee alone. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, because in thy word thou say, look to the hills, which cometh all thy help, all thy help come from thee and thee alone. Lord, it was you, Lord, when our head was hung down, you lift up a bow down head. It was you, Lord, Lord, when we needed a way out, you showed us the way out, Lord. When we was in darkness, Lord, you was a light that sitteth on a hill. I just want to say thank you. Lord, in this time that we live in, Lord, we still have trials and tribulations. Fathers against sons, mothers against daughters, wars and rumors of wars. But Lord, I found out in our word there's someone, Lord, who made everything all right. And his name is Jesus. I just want to say thank you for Jesus. Lord, I know he's your only begotten son, Lord, but he's our savior, Lord. He's our doctor in the sick room. He's our lawyer in the courtroom. When we lost, Lord, he'll show us the way out, Lord. I just want to say thank you. Lord, I know he is the lily of the valley. He's that bright and morning star. He's that bridge over troubled waters. Lord, I just want to say thank you. He's the same Jesus took all of our sins that Friday upon an old rugged cross, hung his head in the locks of the shoulders, gave up the ghost. Three days later, Lord, he rode with all power in his hands. Lord, I just want to say thank you. Power to save those that are lost. Power to heal those that need to be healed. Lord, I just want to say thank you. But Lord, there's one coming tonight, Lord, that's going to stand in our word. Lord, he had done well, Lord, to serve this district as moderator, Lord. You had strengthened him, Lord, up until this time. I ask you for one more time tonight, Lord, dipping down in our treasures, that he may say something that some man, boy, or girl may fall out with the ways of this world, and that's what must I do to be saved. Lord, again, I just want to say thank you. Bless the moderator that's coming in, Lord. Bless each and every one in this district, Lord that we may be understanding and obedient to thy word, Lord. And again, I just want to say thank you. None of this would be possible if it had not been for Jesus. I can't ask this in John's name. I can't ask it in Ezekiel's name. I can't ask it in Isaiah's name. 
I can't even ask it in John's name. But in the precious name of Jesus, we ask you to hear this prayer, Lord. We ask this prayer, Lord, in the precious mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Oh, come along, come along, my friends, come along, get aboard and ride this train, nothing on this train to lose, everything to gain, come along, come along. The gospel train is coming, it's coming around the bend. Jesus said that he is coming back, but one thing he didn't say when. You need to get your house in order, the Lord is sure to come again. Nothing on this train to lose, but everything to gain. Come along, come along, my friends, come along, get aboard and ride this train. Nothing on this train to lose, everything to gain. The guy train is coming it's coming around the bend Jesus said that he is coming back but one thing he didn't say when you need to get your house in order the Lord is sure to come again Nothing on this train to lose, but everything to get. Come along, come along, my friends, come along. Get aboard and ride this train. Nothing on this train to lose, but everything to gain. The guy. Train is coming, it's coming around the bend. Jesus said that he is coming back, but one thing he didn't say when you need to get your house in order, the Lord is sure to come again. Nothing on this train to lose, but everything to gain. Come along, come along, my friends, come along. Get aboard and ride this train. Nothing on this train to lose, but everything to gain. Come along.
to the already established protocol. I'm just going to be here for a moment. It says on the program the, the introduction of the moderator. And I think that's kind of misleading. <laughs> because by after eight years. Yeah. After eight years, you should already know this moderator. So I'm just going to try to present him. I want to say one thing before I do that, though. It's, you know, we know as we are in this world, we have a lot of acquaintances. We know people, we know of people. I had heard a lot about Pastor Harris, Dr. Harris, down through the years. But over the last two or three years, uh -huh. I really got a chance to get to know him. That's all right. That's all right. And I can say a lot of things about him, but most of you already know. So I'm not going to try to build him up. And I don't want you to try to tear him down. He served for eight years. And right now, he's my pastor. That's all right. That's all right. So if, if, if you got anything you got to say or want to say about my pastor, I might not be tall, I might not be as tall as, as Reverend Moore or anything like that. But I stand on the ground that I stand on. And I believe that he is a God-fearing man. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. And he can speak for himself. So y'all know him. So without any further ado, let us stand and receive him. The next voice you will hear to be the moderator of this district for the next few minutes. <laughs> Dr. B.J. Harris. Shifting the atmosphere till the heavens are open. This praise is shifting, is shifting, shifting the atmosphere. Every yoke is destroyed. Every chain is broken. This worship is shifting the atmosphere. It's moving and it's breaking. Our worship is shifting the atmosphere. And it's breaking. Our worship is shifting the atmosphere. Every yoke is destroyed. Every chain is broken. This worship. Is shifting the atmosphere. It's moving and it's breaking. Our worship 
is shifting the atmosphere. It's moving and it's breaking. Our worship is shifting the atmosphere. Father, we come tonight, God, just to say thank you. Father, thank you for taking care of us. Thank you, God, for these eight years. Thank you, Father, thank you. Thank you, God, that your spirit leading and guiding us. Father, all that we had to endure sickness and so many other things, God. Pandemic, COVID, and yet, God, we are here. Your mercy, your grace, has permitted us to still be here. And God, for this, we are eternally grateful. God, thank you for this Columbia District Association. Thank you for all the staff who work with me to help me Thank you for their faithful service. Thank you for all the churches. Thank you for all the pastors and members, ministers that make up this great district. Thank you for all who, during the time of pandemic, permitted us to have our programs at their church. Pastor Williams, Pastor Miles, Dr. Wendell Cole. God, we thank you. Thank you. Father, continue to bless this district. Father, give our moderator, Colin, strength that he needs. Touch him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Be with him each and every day. Father, you know. You know just what he needs. You know when he needs it. You know how he needs it. So God, be with him. And, oh, Lord God, help him to continue to look to you. In the name of Jesus, we pray this prayer. Amen. Certainly we want to <clears throat> take time to thank all of our staff for a job well done. Thank you, staff, for being here. Thank God for all the churches and all the pastors. Certainly, we thank God for 
Macedonia tonight. Amen. Youth, a youth for choir. Thank God for them. Thank God for our new pastors who are here. Certainly we thank God for each and every one of you. Pastors, thank you for your support. Uh, churches, thank you for your support during these past eight years. And in the, the words of the song, it says, I've had some good days. I've had some bad days. Yes, sir. But I'm thankful tonight that my good days are my days. Thankful for Reverend Henry Warren, who was there every Sunday to, to help me. Thank God for Dr. Sarah Stewart, uh, who holds state and national. Thank God for Deacon Lonnie Williams, who voted man of the year. My national Congress. Amen. This has been a journey. And certainly we thank God for Sister McDonald and Man, Sister Wesson, Deacon Williams again, Deacon Wesson, our past officers, and again, thank God for our past moderator, now our present moderator. <laughs> Keep praying for me and my family. Amen. Pastors, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a great host church. Sister Martin. Left us message to think about. Sister Wesson left us a message to think about. To God be the glory. And certainly I want to thank God for my members who are here. Thank you. In the book of <clears throat> First Samuel, chapter seven, verse twelve. First Samuel, chapter seven, and verse twelve. First Samuel seven, verse twelve. <clears throat> All right. All right. Then <clears throat> Samuel took a stone and set it between Mess Paul and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer. Mm saying, hitherto have the Lord helped us. All right. I'm going to talk tonight about up until now. Up until now. Historically, In this setting, Israel had been in bondage 
under the practice of false gods for 20 years. Because of this hard bondage, experience Israel began to lament after God. To them, their days were filled with hopelessness. They were no doubt broken and burdened to a point of seemingly being forgotten by God. They had endured some hard blows, fought in wars and loss. Because they had turned from God. They were depressed, discouraged. And in order to rise above this state, Samuel put before them a remedy, verses 3 and 4. And Samuel spake unto them, all the house of Israel, saying, If you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and asteroids from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then the children of Israel did put away Balaam and Asherah and served the Lord only. Yes, 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 yes. My brothers and sisters, <coughs> let us examine ourselves. Have we allowed our hearts to grow cold toward God? Is church more of a habit than a deep desire to be in God's presence? Is there something, someone, that keeps you bound, feeling unfree to wish it? And praise God with the zeal of thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I know in my heart that God is yeah, yeah, God. Yeah. And that he is able to help us in spite of what state we find ourselves in. I believe, church, tonight that this is a great lesson for us. We have gotten far from God. I believe that God is giving the church a wake-up call. In this lesson, Samuel reminds Israel that they needed to return back to God and forsake their evil practices. God has been good to us. But have we been good to him? Have we taken for granted that it is God that keeps us and not we ourselves. Israel in our lesson had turned their hearts from God and now they were weeping the consequences. Their joy was gone. But I'm glad tonight that God always has an open ear. To hear our cry. And since their hearts were made to lament, Samuel now gathers them together and he began to call on God in their behalf. Mm -hmm. 
Samuel prayed for them. My brothers and sisters, we need men and women to pray with a spirit of urgency. James reminds us in James 5 and 16, he says, that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says, If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Our churches need healing. Our land need healing. Our communities need healing. And my brothers and sisters, up until now, God has always responded to the prayers of the righteous. You see, Samuel was a righteous man. And when he began to call on God on behalf of Israel, Israel began to repent fast and confess their sins before God. Up until now, God has always forgiven us and helped us get back on track. First John 1 and 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us all our unrighteousness. Perhaps someone is here tonight and you have some things weighing down on you. Let me tell you that up until now, God has always been available to help us and deliver us from whatever has us bound. God still has all power. And there is nothing impossible for him. And my brothers and sisters, our text reminds us that God still can deliver. Now it also reminds us that Satan will try and stand in the way of our victory. I said, Satan will try and stand in the way of our victory. He is still seeking to devour us. He is still seeking to destroy us. He is still seeking to kill us. Notice verse 7 in our text. It says, and when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together in Mesopotamia. Mm -hmm. The lords of the Philistines went up against Israel, mm -hmm. and when the children of Israel heard it, mm -hmm. they were afraid uh, yeah. of the Philistines. Yeah, 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 yeah. In their fear, though, uh -huh. they cried to Samuel to not cease to pray for them. Uh -huh. My brothers and sisters, we need prayer warriors who can stand in the gap for us and call on God on our behalf. Down through the years, this nation has had some strong prayer warriors. Down through the years, this district had some strong prayer warriors. And they still have. Amen. Some strong yes. prayer warriors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And up until now, God has helped us. Amen. Samuel kept crying unto God for the people. They, they knew that no one could save them but God. That's why they said, cease not. Mm -hmm. Cry unto the Lord our God for us that he would save us out of the hands of the Philistines. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to tell you tonight, yes, sir. up until now, yes, sir. God is able. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
save us. As Samuel was crying out to God, God heard him. How many of you know tonight that when God hears us, something is about to go down. And it's about to go down in our faith. The enemy, the enemy that had whooped up on Israel is now in a state of defeat. Because God had heard their cry and came to see about them. Up until now, God has not lost not one battle. Up until now, God will give us victory over all our circumstances. This leads us to the heart of our text. Then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mespah and Shem. Call the name of it Ebenezer. Send hitherto. Had the Lord helped us. The name Ebenezer means stone of help. Hitherto had the Lord helped us. It was a call to remember what God had done in the past. The stone was also a stone of recognition, which reminds us of what God would do in the future. In other words, hitherto, up to this point, up until the present time, has God helped us? Paul reminds us in Philippians 1 and 6, he says, being confident of this very thing. He which have begun <clears throat> good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He was simply saying what our text is saying up until now, God has helped us. And that he will continue to help us up until the day of Christ's return. Amen. The Living Word Bible paraphrase says of this verse, Samuel then took a stone and placed it between Mespah and Shen mm -hmm. and named it Ebenezer, mm -hmm. meaning the stone of help. For he said, the Lord mm. has certainly helped us mm. up until now. Mm. Has the Lord helped us? I believe tonight on a personal note that each of us should be able to say, up until now. God has helped us through thickness. Through the thin, yes, God has yes, helped us. Yes, Through the rainy days, yes, the sunny days, yes, God yes, has helped us. Yes, Through sickness yes, and health, yes, God yes, has helped us. Yes, and like the children of Israel, uh -huh. we have done some things uh -huh. that caused God to get angry with us. Yes, and like Israel, we too face the chastising hand of God. Yes, yes. But however, uh -huh. up until now, uh -huh. God yes, sir. has helped us. Yes, he is. In spite of it all, uh -huh. God. Has helped us. When we felt hopeless, God turned hopelessness into hope. 
The songwriter who penned these words, I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who holds tomorrow. This reminds me that up until now, God has helped us. We don't know about tomorrow. But we ought to know. We ought to be certain who holds tomorrow. His name is Jehovah God. Somebody say he walks with me. Talks with me. Tell me I am his own. Because he holds tomorrow. I don't have to fret. Because he holds tomorrow. I'm convinced that up until now, God has helped us. I'm convinced tonight that God will never leave us, nor will he forsake us. He says it in the Old Testament, says it in the New Testament. And then Hebrews come along in Hebrews 13 and 8, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And brothers and sisters, up until now, God has helped us. We might have endured suffering. We might have endured days of stress. Might have endured days when it looked like the Spirit of God was not among us. But thank God, up until now, he has helped us. These last two and a half years have been troubling. Many we know was overtaken by COVID. We ourselves might have experienced some heavy burdens. Even our money might have looked funny. And it might be looking funny now. Yes, but thank God, yes, up until now, yes, the Lord has yes, helped us. Yes, God has brought us every step of the way. Yes, Those times when we didn't see but one set of footprints. Yes, in the sand, it was God picking us up, carrying us. There have been some weapons formed against us. But because up until now, God has helped us, they did not prosper. Tell you today that God will take care of us. In this time where the satanic forces are strong, time in which the spiritual warfare is getting more intense, we have to know that up until now, God has helped us. We too. We too. Like the Israelites have those who would like to take us out and silence us. I said, we too have those who would like to take us out and silence us. But we have to know up until now, God has helped us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have to stay on the battlefield for the Lord, being mindful of John 16 and 33. These things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world. You should have tribulation, but don't worry about it. Be of good cheer. Why? Because I have overcome the world. And great is he. He is in us. Peter's in the world. 
on a personal note. Yes, sir. And as the body of Christ, yes, sir. we have to have this message of hope mm. planted deep in our hearts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God has brought us through so many things. God has brought us this far, and he did not bring us this far just to leave us alone. God will take care of us. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. The psalmist David reminds us that because up until now God has helped us, and since he has helped us, we don't have to fret. In Psalm 30, 37, 1 and 2, 2, he says, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thy envious against the workers of iniquity. Why? For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. My brothers and sisters, we have to know as we move forward in this district and new administration, up until now, God has helped us. Therefore, we have to continue to hold to God's unchanging hand. We have to walk by faith, knowing that up until now, God has helped us. David reminds us of this fact when he penned in Psalm 37 and 25. He says, I have been young, and now I'm an old man. That's me. I've been young, but I'm getting old. Yet I've not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Go up, prices. God got a whole bank account. There's no shortage. Need money? Talk to Jesus. Cattle on the thousand hills belong to him. The earth is his. They that, they that dwell therein. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. David says, yes, sir. even though I have transitioned from my youthful days unto my old days, up until now, God has helped us. Up until now, God is still good. Up until now, God still provides. Up until now, God still protects. Up until now, God still preserves. Amen, somebody. Stop by here tonight in this final address to remind you that God the same God yes, that brought this district yeah. from its beginning yes, yes, to this 140th field yeah. and your session yeah. will continue to bring us through cause yes, up until now mm -hmm. the Lord has helped us yes, sir. Yes, sir. through all of the aches and misery God yes, has helped us. Mm -hmm. In our days of disappointment, we have to remember that up until now, God has helped us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the mountains are so high and the valleys so low. Yes, sir. Yet we have to remember that up until now, mm -hmm. God has helped us. Yes, Sometimes the days are so long. <laughs> Maybe I'm by myself. Sometime the days are so long. Sometime they are so lonely. And even sometime it look like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. By the time the sun go down, I'm 
crying over me. Well, in the midst of that, somehow there has to be a deep down gut feeling on the inside of you to know I've been here before. I've been down, and the enemy counted me out, but somehow or another, up until now, Brothers and sisters, when we look back over our lives, as rough as it's been, and you see the thing about it, see, you know what? Can't none of us get so big and bad to think, that, okay, he got trouble. Ain't gonna touch me. Trouble will come. But there's a song that says, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. Somebody said, if it had not been the Lord on our side, where would we be? Down through the years, God's hand of mercy has been upon us. I don't know about you tonight, but I'm happy to know that my life, my family's life, my church family, you, we're in the hands of God. And I hear Jesus said, if you're in my hands, no one, no weapon, no demonic spirit can take you out of my hand. Oh, God's hands are better than super glue. Super glue a failure. But God's hands, they're a grip, yeah. When you're wrong, grip you when you fall. Yes, sir. No hands. Yes, sir. Like God's hands. And so I'm here. I'm convinced tonight mm. yes, sir. that hitherto mm. has the Lord helped us. Mm. He has helped us Thank you, sir. Thank you. to this moment. Mm. And therefore, since up until now, mm. the Lord has mm -hmm. helped us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We ought to yes, sir. give him some thanks. Amen. Since the Lord has yes, helped us, we ought to praise yes, sir. his name. Yes, sir. Since the Lord has helped us, we ought to give him glory. Yes, since the Lord has helped us, we ought to say like the sum, and I will bless the Lord at all times. And all his praise to continually be in my mind. The Lord has helped us. His mercy yes, endure it yes, forever. Yes, Have you ever thought about if God put his mercy? Oh, come on, Reverend. But I'm glad, I'm glad that at midnight last night, my mercies were gone. But I'm glad at one minute past two, I got a new set. A mercy, and it's eight o'clock now. I just have a few more left. I'll be out again in midnight, but oh, one minute past midnight, I have some new best. Yes, sir. 
God is able. Up until now, God has helped us. Psalm 107 and 2 declares, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he have redeemed, watch this now, from the hand of the enemy. <laughs> Don't think you ain't got no enemy. But I'm glad today that God has redeemed us out of the hand of every enemy. God, in his richness, has been our help in ages past. He's been our rock and a weary land. He has opened doors far beyond our imagination. And up until now, God has helped us. But you know the greatest testimony tonight, over 2,000 years ago, when no one could help us, God sent his only begotten son to rescue us from a head-on collision with hell. We were on our way to hell, but Jesus came to rescue us. The Bible says the rages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus. The great shepherd. Died. Jesus. The bread of life. Died. Jesus. The Lamb of God. Died. Jesus. The great I am. Died. Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. Died. Didn't he die? Yes, sir. He died, Reverend. Yes, sir. He died, Reverend. Yes, sir. He died. He died. Yes, sir. He died. We might leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. He died to redeem us. Yes, sir. Yes, he did. When we were without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus died for us. And you know what? Right here, we all stand at the same level. No, you might not have done what I've done. <laughs> No, you might not have said what I have said. No, you might not have been deep down in hell like I would. But oh, you were somewhere. Because the Bible said, all, not some, all. I don't care if you can sing, holy, holy. All have seen. I'm sure. The glory of God. But I'm glad today. Jesus to Christ died on the old rugged cross. Yeah, yes, sir. Died. Yes, sir. To save us. Yes, sir. Died. That we might live. Yes, sir. Died. Yes, sir. That we could lose ownership with Satan <laughs> and get ownership with Jesus. I'm glad. I ain't not a Satan's son no more. Yes, right, I'm glad yes, sir, that my name uh -huh. is written uh -huh. in the Lamb Book of Life. I'm glad to know that Jesus looked over my faults, yes, saw my knees, yes, died, died, died. died. Yeah. on the old rugged cross, oh, yes, took him down, yeah, 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 yeah. buried him. Yeah, yeah. In a borrowed tomb. And I like this poem. Because the Bible said they sealed a rock 
in a rock. But the bad thing is, they didn't know they had a rock in the rock. I'm glad that that rock, that show enough rock, the rock of Asia, got up. Let us stand out over the building. Amen. Up until now, now, you have been slipping and sliding, <laughs> dipping and hiding. Up to now. Maybe you didn't got tired of slipping and sliding, dipping and dying up till now. But tonight, you can stop it by accepting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the 10th chapter, Roman verse 9 said, thou, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you're here tonight, and you have not accepted Christ, and notice I'm not asking you to join Mount Zion. I'm not asking you to join Bethlehem. I'm not asking you to join Holmes. I'm not asking you to join any of these churches. I'm asking you to accept Christ. Yes. Yes, sir. As your, some, somebody needs to know having your name on the church road does not save you. Amen. Even knowing the scripture does not save you because he told Nicodemus, thou must be born again. If you don't have Christ as your savior tonight, we invite you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal savior. He said the day that you hear his voice, Hard not your heart. You didn't harden it up to now, but tonight, you don't have to do that anymore. You can come to Jesus just as you are. Somebody said they came to Jesus just as they were weary, wounded, and sad. But look at him. They found a sweet old resting place. And now they're glad. If you're here tonight, will you come? Maybe you've already accepted Christ. And maybe you've been like me, you, you, you start a backslide. Amen? All you got to do is come back and repent. God is still waiting for you with open arms to receive you back to him. Are you here tonight? Are you here tonight? One more thing, maybe somebody need prayer tonight. Don't know what you're going through, but you know, and God knows what you're going through. If that beat you, will you come tonight? Right, While the blood is yet running warm in your vein, will you come? Amen. You may be seated. Before we take up this love offering, we'd like to adopt this address from the our moderator. We need to, somebody to give us a motion and second the address of our moderator. A motion by Deacon William. Second by Reverend Weston. Are you ready for a question? All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say nays. The ayes have it, the motion is carried. We'll take this address and file it in our archive. Amen. 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 This time we're going to ask our office to come for the love offering.
Can't say amen. 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 Get ready to present this offering, love offering to our moderator up until amen. now. Amen. Just want to say that he is worthy of every dollar in this trade. Amen. Amen. I say that because I witnessed him shed his precious sweat trying to save the district old school building water running in the basement getting out there sweating and trying to lay concrete around the bottom of the base of the building to stop the water from going in the basement the building is standing because of him i'm willing willing well, witness him persuading talking to the the the, the trustee boy we need a top because it's raining in the building. Swayed to go and borrow the money. And not only that, Mo building up in our heat himself, along with some of his helper, went inside the building. Took the mold out. Took the old carpet out and then wiped, washed the walls down that because or wiped the walls down because of all the mold and the and, 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 and spider webs. He worked hard, tried to help us in ways that we didn't see. This moderator just like glue in these beans. Mm -hmm. Thing you can't see, but he will help. So because of that, Dr. Moderator, we want to present this to you and say we thank you, thank you. for all of your hard work. Amen. Not just your physical work, we thank you and we love you and we thank you for the work you've done. And we just pray that God will just continue to keep you and be a great blessing to this district. Amen. 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 Thank you. Now, we had said earlier that the Bible says it's a time for all things. It's time to plant, time to pluck up that which has been planted. It's time for our moderator up until now to be plucked up. We're getting ready now to plant a new moderator. So this time, we're going to ask elect moderator Colin to come and Amen. give us a word. Before we do, before we do, brother moderator, we're gonna get the report from the yeah, uh, secretary. Amen. Sorry about that. Good evening. Good
Amen. 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 Now let us stand to receive our new Amen. elect moderator. All right. Amen. I'm going to just stand down here. Amen. I'm standing in that pool a bit all the time. <laughs> Amen. 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 I want to, first of all, we want to thank God for Dr. Harris. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, we thank him for all that he has done. Thank you, choir from Macedonia. I thank you very much for allowing us to use this choir tonight. Thank all of you for being here for this week. Now, uh, Brother D, you can put it up on the screen. Now, if you want to go back and look at any of the worship experiences, uh, it's two places you can see it. We have a, you can go to MountZionMagnolia.com, I'll try our YouTube channel, and you can see any of the services that we've had this week. Uh, tonight's service will be up tomorrow. They're not up tonight, but you'll be able to see them tomorrow. So if you want to go back and Review in the address of here and the singing. It'll be on where you can see it. Uh, all right, we ready to move now. Amen. 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 Uh, we got a mandate for that auditorium and that kitchen. And then, then once we get those buildings in order, we can look at the other building. Uh, but we need to get started on that. So, uh, pastors, you will be getting a letter from me within the next two weeks. And we're going to start getting things rolling. So you got about a couple of weeks of break, and then we want to get to moving on what we need to do. Again, I want to thank Pastor Harris for turning over the association in good shape. Amen. 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 Anytime you're in the black, you're not in bad shape. So we want to thank him for that and thank all of it. Now, I have some people have come to ask me who this, who that, who what. Just stay where you are until somebody tell you to move. Amen. <laughs> Pastor Colin, God bless you. God bless you. God bless the new administration, and thank you, Mount Zion, for having us this week. Amen. Amen. Thank you, pastors. Thank you, all of my staff. Uh, great job. Amen. Thank you for rallying around me and, and being my support system. Amen. We, 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 everybody needs somebody. I'm glad that when I called them, they were always willing to help and share what information they had. So tonight, I'm okay. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. I'm okay. I I, uh, I leave gracefully. I leave with my heart, still with Columbia District Association. I'll be praying for you, and you pray for me. If we pray one for another, guess what? <coughs> Satan won't have a chance. Amen? May we stand. Thank you again, Macedonia. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you, musicians, for being here. Amen. And all the people of God say it. Amen. Amen.